Good morning folks, it's that time of the month again to clean out the trash bin of auditing uh, junk downloads that I get, so I'm going to add a bunch of clips to this video of different uh, videos that weren't worthy of making a whole video out of, I'll just kind of compile them all here, hope you enjoy, kick back, get the popcorn out, we'll just laugh a little bit for a few minutes, and here we go. I think I'll have my good uh, friend Chris and Tiffany bring in the intro for the first video we're going to show. It's a crazy, crazy time, folks. Crazy time. Hey, guys. For public safety and official misconduct, back with you for a crazy video, guys. Now in a desperate attempt to fill 24 hours of programming, here's some bullshit that happened somewhere today. We've got some footage here of the bullshit, which began just after 3 o'clock this afternoon when residents in this neighborhood were shocked to see this fairly common thing happening. An attractive witness described the event in breathless terms. I went to my window, and I was like, whoa, there's some bullshit happening. That happened right over there. I'm an older man, so you can trust what I say. Authorities in special uniforms rushed to the scene to stand around while our cameras filmed them. A crazy video, guys. That certainly was a crazy video. I, I have to agree with Chris. Uh, he got it right on the head there. Now let's move on. Let's see what JC News Now is up to today. He's always an entertaining character. I believe JC's going to some small town courthouse and see if he can uh, start some trouble in there. Let's check it out. What's up, YouTube? Still see if they got my phone back. Hmm, suspicious. I wonder why they have to get him his phone back. I, I don't understand how they got his phone. Did he get in trouble again and I miss it? Because I haven't seen it yet. Let's find out. October 10th. She's always so nice. I believe this is uh, JC's uh, fourth or fifth audit today. Uh, it's fascinating stuff. Uh, I mean, just, you know, just relax, take a volume, calm down. Uh, it'll be okay. Here we turn 10 minutes into about, oh, I don't know, what do you say, 30 seconds? That sounds good to me. Hi, Sammy. Is Rusty here? I have not seen him yet. Not seen him yet. I mean, I know he's on duty, but I, he hasn't been in here yet. Damn. Yeah. You know if he's got my phone yet? No telling. Yeah. 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 I have a question. I've got the water bill. I'm going to I hate to take off. I drove three hours to get here. Yeah. Maybe I'll hang around for a little bit. Well, I don't think driving three hours matters since you're driving your mother's car because you own nothing. You have nothing. You are nobody. Gonna hang around for a while longer. Jeez Christ. And we don't even know why they have his phone. That's the city hall. He probably got it confiscated there from the chief of police for some reason. Probably got to go to court again. That would be interesting. Uh, anyway, this is boring. I really want to walk through the courthouse, but I need to get some yonder. Got other things to do. Well, pretty much, they won't let me have a public defender. He's supposed to order them to. They said they didn't want to defend me. The judge is supposed to order them to do it. Because according to Miranda, I'm allowed an attorney. I guess it doesn't work like that in Alton. Well, from what I've seen of JC's videos, he's aggravated enough by public defenders. He's audited a public defender before, I believe. I believe that was JC. 
he totally, totally alienated everyone he ever came, came into contact with and nobody wants anything to do with him. And yes, he's right, he's entitled to an attorney, uh, but that doesn't mean that we have to pay for it. You can pay for your own attorney. Your mother's got plenty of money. She seems to support you, no problem, so get her to pay for it. He never does say what he's got to go to court for. it. This may even be an old, old video before he went to jail for six months for being a dickwad. But anyway, uh, let's move on to somebody else. Well, it just wouldn't be a decent trash video if I didn't add a little Daniel Pratt to it and there's a little conspiracy theory thing going on here. Uh, let's see what he's up to now. Something about uh, Albert Pike. I gotta look that guy up because it sounds pretty interesting. So there are there are really people out there that uh, think the Albert Pike letter was fake? <laughs> Who is Albert Pike and what letter are you referring to? If that letter's fake, whoever wrote it was the most psychic prophet ever, apparently. <clears throat> Makes nostril dumbass look like a schizophrenic clown. All right, I'm going to have to go look up Albert Pike in this uh, letter. I don't know who it is. I have no idea, but I'll be right back. Because so we can see it unfolding right before our eyes, can't we? I've seen it. Well, I went on Google, and the only Albert Pike I could find was a uh, brigadier general of the Confederate Army. He's got a statue down there in Washington, D.C., and uh, all these uh, idiots wanted to statue torn down, which they probably got accomplished. That was the stupidest uh, chapter uh, of, uh, of that year. It, it's just stupid. Took down a bunch of statues and that accomplished absolutely nothing. But anyway, that's the only Albert Pike and I don't know what letter he's talking about. Plain as day. Especially ever since the topic of Flat Earth became popular. And there are still the blind and deaf out there that can't seem to figure out why Flat Earth matters. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Pratt. It will matter to me when I see some photographs of the edge of the world where everything falls off when it gets there. I mean, if, if we're flat, it doesn't matter whether we're square or round flat. There's got to be an edge somewhere, and nobody has ever photographed it. And nobody can explain that. That's the only argument I need to the flat earth debate because it's nonsense. They're like, well, we still got pandemics and other more important pressing things to worry about. And that's just fine. I mean, it's always going to be some people's deal to, you know, expose the method, expose the nuances of what they're doing. But to myself and others, Flat Earth exposes the motive, the MO, of why they do what they do. Because their entire goal has been to deceive and kill not only our flesh, but our souls. Okay, I give up, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, kill the flesh, kill the soul, yadda yadda yadda, flat earth, show me a picture, show me a picture. I want to see the edge, I want to see the underside of the flat earth. If you take a rope and hang off the edge of the world, you should be able to get some pictures of the side of it, the underneath of it. I mean, come on, come on, show me, show me the money. Anyway, I can't do any more of this nonsense. I'm just going to dump everything I've got and... Uh, We'll try again next month. Hope you enjoyed. This is just a stupid little video. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Love you all. Bye.